Hello, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this video explains the project called Subtracting Means Jump to the Left, which includes 10 videos, 16 songs, lyrics, chords, and a bunch of printable visuals. This is a follow-up to a project called Adding Means Jump to the Right. Here in the chorus, the direction left is demonstrated by a stick figure standing and then jumping to the left multiple times. Jump to the left. Each subtraction problem has two digits. The first digit is where the stick figure stands to begin. Then jump. The second digit is the quantity of times the stick figure has to jump to the and the number which our stick figure lands on is the solution to the problem. This version of the video is called five minus. The first digit is always five and the second digit changes. There are five subtraction problems in each video. In this video, the problems are five minus one, five minus two, five minus three, five minus four, and five minus five. Minus four. The numbers of the problem are highlighted in red, and the number of the solution is highlighted in blue. After making one jump at a time, the problem is then reviewed, showing the total quantity of jumps signified by the second digit of the problem. There are four more videos and songs that follow this same pattern found in 5 minus. These are 6 minus, 7 minus, 8 minus, and 9 minus. So in these, the first digit always stays the same, and the second digit always changes from minus 1 to minus 2 to minus 3 to minus 4 to minus 5. There are five additional songs and videos in which the first digit changes and the second digit always stays the same. So there's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. So we did five minus. Now we're going to switch to minus five, which includes five problems. And those problems are five minus five, 6 minus 5, 7 minus 5, 8 minus 5, and 9 minus 5. Means jump to the left. Means jump to the left. Jump to the left. Jump to the left. So if your student is struggling with where to start on the number line, you may use the songs and videos where the first digit is always the same, or if your student is having difficulty with how many times to jump, you may use the songs and videos in which the second digit of the problem always stays the same. To the left. These videos are good for teaching subtraction problems. You may even have your student follow along with their own number line. But for testing, I usually like to use the song versions along with printable visuals. So right now I'm going to show you my favorite way 
of having students interact with this song. Six minus five. Start on six, then jump one, two, three, four, five. To the left. So the materials not included in the download are the magnet that looks like a game piece the magnetic dry erase board and the magnetic numbers. The items that are included in the download are a subtracting template, a number line with circles, and the number line used in the video. You'll notice the subtracting template has a new visual, the picture for start, a stick figure getting ready to run a race, in the videos you only see one standing stick figure at a time and this works out well but through trial and error I learned that two standing figures on the printable template was confusing for some kids especially since you read the problems left to right and you subtract right to left so some kids were getting confused that the answer should be under the standing figure on the left so this was changed to a start figure. I also made my own number line with the numbers enclosed in circles that fit well with the magnet jumper. And there are little dotted lines on which the magnet can jump from one number to the next. If this doesn't work for you, the number line used in the videos is also included as a printable visual. Eight minus five. Start on, then jump. To the left. Eight minus five equals. Eight minus five equals. What you just witnessed there was the minus five fill in the blank song with me as the teacher giving some visual and verbal prompts to the student. So you can perform this with a nonverbal student, with a verbal student. They may sing when the teacher pauses or you may allow them to sing the whole thing. There are six fill in the blank songs included. Five of those have the same second digit of the problem every time. So there's a minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. And the sixth one follows that sequence where the second digit changes every time. So you do one jump, then two jumps, then three jumps, then four jumps, then five jumps. So with the fill in the blank songs, you can do the same problems in the same order, the same problems in a different order, or new problems. Once again, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy. Thank you for watching.